Larry King now, visionary rapper Tyler the Creator. From the random artwork, it was just our own style of thing, so people gravitated to it and it was also like, wow, they make cool music and damn, they're funny too and things. You're a renaissance man. I don't know if that, okay. Like in the future, I wanna, like I wanna do films. I want, people mention my name, I'm next to Wes Anderson or Quentin Tarantino. I don't wanna be, I don't want my name to be mentioned next to other rappers. I got it. At all. Well, how do you deal with the suits? Those dudes are so caught up in money and they're scared of anything out of the norm. So they'll be quick to say like, oh, fuck that. I wanna talk to the head dude. I want him to know who I am, where I'm coming from. Plus, are you interested in girls? Of course. I love Freckles. I love Jennifer Lawrence. If you're watching this, leave the nigga you wit. That's all next on Larry King Now. Welcome to Larry King Now. His rap music may have launched him into the mainstream, but Tyler, the creator, is much more than just a rapper. The 23-year-old Los Angeles native also produces, directs, designs, runs two massively successful clothing lines, stars in the Adult Swim sketch comedy show, Loiter Squad. Tyler, the creator, is the ringleader of the hip-hop collective Odd Future, a group of friends and inventive minds who have spawned a unique artistic renaissance taking hold of the millennial generation. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but it sounds very, very awesome. You're hey, so baby. Sick. Does it irritate you when people refer to you only as a rapper? Yes. Why? Uh, I'm much more than that. I, I just like making stuff and rhyming words together in a rhythm is just one of those things. But it got you famous though, didn't it? Uh, I think, I don't know. I think my personality overall did, but. You but know, it was rap that was brought yeah, you to for the, the public. Yeah, for the most part, more or less. So you don't knock it? Um, yeah, I don't knock it, but I do so much other stuff that I just, oh, but as time prevails, I know for sure people are gonna recognize me for it, so I don't really stress it. What were you like as a kid in high school? What were um, you like? Annoying. Um, Where'd you go to school, LA? I changed, yeah, I changed schools every year. I didn't have many friends, like close ones. What? I was always the, uh, the odd one out, no pun. Were you a class comic? Uh, I was a class clown, yes. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty much the same, shorter. <laughs> shorter? Yeah, I was, I was shorter, I got taller. <laughs> so how did the music thing start? I've been in the music since a young one, like, the only seven-year-old <clears throat> spending birthday money at Sam Goody and like Best Buy on albums and every Christmas getting the catalogs and not looking at toys, like only getting music and stuff and like focusing on, um, on like the different sounds of stuff. Like, so in your so, DNA, yeah, you like music. stealing CDs and then like just so, things like that. So I started started rhyming words at like seven, and then around twelve is when I start like trying to play piano and play instruments and I taught myself drums and things like that. Wow. So, did you graduate high school? Yeah, of course. And then what did you do? How did you make, how did you start professionally? One, I'm not a professional because I don't know what I'm doing. I just do it. I don't like the, when you put the professional thing on it, it just okay, gets well, it really By professional, weird. I mean. Who, but I make money from it now, Yeah, who so. paid you first? Your first paycheck musically came Was from. Was the sickest shit ever. Can I curse? Yeah, That's go ahead. Fucking sick. Uh, what did you do? It was at the Low End Theory. It was like 2010. It was me and my, uh, and f it, was, it was five of us. And they paid us 500 bucks to do like a 30 minute set. It was the craziest show and we split that. And we thought we were so on. It wasn't a lot of money, but like we were broke and we thought we were so on and it was the sickest shit ever. And uh, that's just from us putting out music on the internet. Like I set up a site and we just throw stuff on it. All the random artwork that I would make, I would put on there all the dumb videos of us just being annoying, we would just put out and um, people gravitated to it and it was sick cause like, it was just us just being. So how'd you get famous? I guess just, like I said, just putting it out. On the internet. And people just caught on and word of mouth and word of mouth. And I think it's more because, you know, people could relate to that. Like we was just fucking around, but we made music too and 
from the random artwork. It was just our own style of thing. So people gravitated to it and it was also like, wow, they make cool music and damn, they're funny too. And wow, this is how'd you look, how'd you hook up with these guys? Um, cool thing. I didn't go to school with most of them. Um, I met some of them at a skate park or like through mutual friends. Cause, um, my original idea was a magazine which included everything I was into, whether it was music, art, movies, clothes, colors, a bike, wood, like whatever. <laughs> and uh, all, all my friendships that I have now is all connected through one of those webs. So I'm friends with certain photographers that I like and people who do music and it turned into a collective and that's when we just start putting things. You're a renaissance man. I don't know if that, okay. The LA Weekly deemed Tyler the Creator sound garnered and hellish. His music is not for the faint of heart, is riddled with vulgar language, at times extremely homophobic. His sound is very gritty, his voice is deep. The tone of his songs oftentimes extremely dark. <laughs> that all true? No, not at all. I could play you some instrumentals that's some of the prettiest shit you've probably ever heard in your life. I probably curse a lot. Um, I'm not homophobic at all. You've influenced others, right? Uh, I probably influenced some people to do some stuff, whether good or bad. I don't take credit. Farrell said, being a young black kid, especially at that time, I was different from all my other peers. So when I've seen this dude saying that he was open to rock and jazz and skateboarding and all this other stuff, I was interested and I was gravitated toward it. Because all right, I'm not the only black dude is probably called weird. So you affected a lot of other people. You realize that? Uh, yeah. It's Who sick. affected you? Um, Dave Chappelle, Marshall Mathers, Pharrell Williams, Roy Ayers, James Pants, Wes Anderson. Um, a lot of the people around me, my mother for sure. I don't tell her much, but she played a big part. Um, do you ever plan to expand? Do you ever want to do things musically other than rap? That's what I do now. Like, um, that's the thing. I, like, I really want to sing, but my, my tone of voice is too deep to do what I want. So now I'm just listening to like Isaac Hayes and Barry White and things like that just to see how they use their voice. But I hate rapping only because it puts you in this like, in this box and like, so like I was scared for this interview because me being a rapper, I was scared of the type of questions that you would probably ask me not even on purpose, just, you know, because I'm a rapper and things, and then people look at you different. Oh, he's a rap artist. No, but you that just said, much you just said you, you don't want to rap anymore. I don't. I don't. I just want to compose. So you got again. famous rapping. Yeah. But you're leaving the world of rap, but you've been successful in other areas. Yeah, I mean. I'm, you don't need I'm rap talented anymore. Enough, I'm talented enough to do other things, but I don't know. I'm pretty bored with it. It's not interesting, and I don't want to be. Like in the future, I want to like I want to do films. I want people mention my name. I'm next to Wes Anderson or Quentin Tarantino. I don't want to be, I don't want my name to be mentioned next to other rappers. I got it at all. Coming up, where does Tyler's creative drive come from? We delve deeper into our guest's mind <laughs> after the break. Welcome back to Larry King. Now, Tyler the Creator just did a selfie of me and him. It's it's beautiful. You're a beautiful man. You're, you're a great guy. You've been termed absurdist. Do you think you're absurd? Nah, not really. I'm just loud and honest. Has this city influenced you artistically, do you think, growing up here? Uh, I guess. There's no I city like this city. Yeah, dude, I've been to a lot of places, and I'm so grateful that I didn't grow up anywhere else but L.A., because everywhere else sucks to grow up in. Like, it really does. I mean, uh, New York is sick. Miami's cool. It's some other places that would suck to grow up at. <laughs> You're glad you grew up here. I'm very grateful. Did you ever meet your father? Uh, I think I did at 12, supposedly, but I don't really know. That's what my mom said, but. Are you mad at him that he long. desert the family? Nah, dude, I'm stoked. I no. think if I had a dad, if I had a, I think if I had a dad, I would have went the normal college route and like, like a lot of other people. So you're not angry at him. I'm so stoked my life panned out how it was. 
I just decided to rap about it to seem like I'm sad. But Would you like still... to be with him? Would you like to meet him? Um, I mean, one day, I guess. I don't really think I mean, about he must it. know all about you. Yeah, I don't really care. Like, I'm fine. Not even I'm... being passive aggressive right now. I really don't care. How important is your mother? Uh, very important. I see her every day almost. We don't talk much, but... What do you mean you don't talk much? Like, I'm always gone, <laughs> but she be putting the house together. Have you got a girlfriend? No. Do you want girlfriends? Uh, in the future, get married, have a kid. But not yet. Too young. Not yet. Not not to be settled down right now. There's too many fish in the ocean. And as a rapper, which I hate saying, you are a big shark, and I can do a lot of fun stuff. Do you want to be famous? Uh, dude, literally, if I could. Yeah, do you want to be known everywhere? Walk dude, down the street, and people go Tyler. I could be rich as hell when no one knows who I am. That is the shit. You want the money. But I get away with certain stuff, like yelling at people they think is funny. You've been criticized for using offensive language in lyrics and songs. It doesn't seem to bother you. Why do you use offensive language? Like, I mean, fuck do you, Yeah, do you use that for effect? In other words, it's effective to say that. Or do you enjoy saying it? Or is it natural to you? Yeah, it's just pretty natural. I don't, I don't really think twice on it, I guess. I don't know. It's just words, man. Does the society object to it? Uh, some, like people who live in caves and like are pretty fucking bored. Do you use the N-word? Nigga, yes. Now, that's an offensive word to, to some people, to many people. And how, in what terms do you use it? I don't know, man. See, like, people have to understand I grew up in a different time to where Explain that to word me. is just a word. It has no effect, but it is a double standard because there's certain people who will get offended if someone who doesn't have the skin tone of me says it, like, which is really weird, you know? Like, then they're keeping the original meaning of that um, a lot. I don't know how to explain it. Um, well, if a white person says Yeah, it, like if a white person says it. Isn't it derogatory? Like, it's derogatory because your skin isn't the same color yeah. as mine. But why when I It's just weird that a lot of people still get you know, upset, upset with that. And it's like, just, I don't know. I think you give certain words power. Are you saying it's just a word? Yeah. Like if, if you choose, is to be there any thing, word you that could call me a nigga and I would not give a fuck. Is there any word that would bother you? Would the word boy bother you? If someone said, Hey boy, not at all. Wouldn't bother you. Not no all. word would bother you. No. So anybody could call you anything. Yeah. I wouldn't care. All right. That's, that's good for you. You are not anti-gay, you're not, no. No, nah, like again, fag is just another word. You could find anybody more so my age who uses that word just like that, but it's a different time and everything. And um, I know that word is offensive to some people, but I don't, I'm not, shoot, I know straight dudes who act like fags. Like you act like a piece of shit. Like <laughs> I, it doesn't have anything to do with your sexual orientation. So like, nothing bothers shit. you? What bothers you? Um, Racism doesn't bother you? Bad words don't bother you. What bothers you? I hate uh, I hate frauds and pretentious people and like I don't know. I hate people who's not comfortable with themselves. That scares me. You hate phonies. Yeah, I hate people who don't really like what they like. What do you mean? For um, for example, like it's. It's uh, like people who don't really, like you don't really like that. You just, like I, I've known people who like only like stuff because either I like it or it's the cool thing to like or things like that. And that's, these people aren't comfortable with themselves. Thing to do. Like, yeah, like, like they'll base their opinion off someone else's opinion because they don't want to be like the odd man out. Like that's what scares me. Man, I don't that, like that. Either. That puts so much, like, dude, you don't like that goddamn shirt. Why did you wear that? Cause it's the tight thing right now. You don't even look comfortable. You think we'll ever have a gay rap artist? Maybe Openly one day. Yeah. That would be, but that's like, why does that shit matter? I know. Like if he want to fuck dudes or whatever, why does that matter? Like, why do we care? I've never like, figured that out. Like that's so fucking crazy, right? After the break, Tyler sounds off on the biggest issue facing the millennial generation. I'll find out what that is too, right after this. We're back with Tyler, the creator, who likes my shirt. That blue is beautiful. Thank you, That's man. I'm complimented. 
What do you like? What do you? Are you? How deep into fashion are you? What, uh, do you? what do you design? I like making shit, and I like colors. I don't really. I like cool shirts and stuff. And what? What is the line, Tyler? What is it called? Your line? Golf wing. And that's golf. It's a stupid thing, but the four-letter golf looks sick on shit. Like, I'll bring you some stuff. You like colors, I can tell. Yeah, I love that's colors. Fucking right. But you hate golf, but you put golf as dude, the that theme. That word looks sick on stuff, dude. I don't know why. Like, this hat is so sick to me. <laughs> is fashion more your expression than music, or both? Dude, that's a weird question. Because, like, I could... Everything, I just make stuff, so everything I do is an expression, whether it's an angle that I got in a video or- Where did you learn business? Ring or something. Where like, did you I, learn business? I don't know business, I just do. Well, who handles business? You have I business. have a freaking amazing team with me that you have accountants make, and... they let me be the creative one and they focus on all the bullshit. Well, how do you deal with the suits? You know, the people who, um, who wear the three button suits. They're and idiots, and I just make sure they like, I like meeting people. I want to talk to the head dude. I want him to know who I am, where I'm coming from. Like, I, I personally want to call, let's, let's speak, you know, just you so they can know. The head like, guy. Yeah, like, but it sucks. Like, people are, uh, those dudes are so caught up in money and they're scared of anything out of the norm, so they'll be quick to say, like, oh, fuck that. Like, like it's so much stuff I want to do, but because of the things that's connected, even stuff you ask me, whether it be homophobic slurs or the fact that I want to yell or the fact that I'd rather do this or shoot it like this and not use the normal, like, they're scared, so they're, like, they'll back away. And it sucks because we'll never progress. If we, continue, if, if we don't get the courage to just say fuck it and try something new. Where do you see yourself when you're 40? Uh, rich as fuck. <laughs> um, couple films under my belt. A bunch of furniture. A couple buildings. Skate parks around the world. Married? Yes, with a one-year-old. Not a one-year-old at 40. I don't know. I'll have a kid, though. How old are you? I have a son, 23. You're, you're, like, you're a baby. You know? I mean, you're a kid kid. You're I, young. I guess. I don't feel no... I don't even know how old I feel. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You use Stupid. them all? Uh, you don't use them. The only thing on my phone is Instagram, and I use that to either post stupid, funny photos or photos that I sit in color just to look at pretty photos, but I hate all of that shit, to be honest. You don't tweet? I mean, I do, but that's either early in the morning or late at night when I wake up to let you know I have a show or whatever the hell is on my mind, and then that's it. I hate Snapchat. I hate all that shit. You have said in the past... Stupid. It's making kids so stupid. You're making that clear to me. You said in the past that college is not what makes a young individual happy. That you, you preach individuality. You didn't go to college. No. You think you missed something by not um, having a higher... No, not at all. I mean, I do think it would have been sick to do the way college looks in movies, but I'm living a life that no one else really gets to live. And it's not, I'm not saying that going to college is bad, but it's not for everyone. And I remember my mom trying to push that shit on me. And I just knew in my fucking soul that that's not for me. Like, I'm gonna find my own path. Like, let me fuck up. And it turned into this. And the way society is, they tell you it's a certain way you have to be. Like, when you're a certain age, you're like, oh, you're still acting like that? Like, blah, blah, blah. Or like, like what do you do? Like you need to go to school or you don't need to go to school or just things like that. And I just want everyone to know that it's okay to say fuck all that and follow their own path and, and just do whatever makes them happy. Because I know, I know people who was in school only because their parents said so. Or um, doing shit that they don't really want to do for, for random reasons and it just fucking sucks because I'm over here having the sickest life ever and that's because I chose to and I, I figured it out. And I just want to be that, like, the nigga that lets them know they can... Do, do politics interest you? Not at all. Did you vote? Uh, nah. I didn't. I'm a horrible person. You're not a horrible person. <laughs> nah, you, don't, I didn't. You, don't, you didn't vote? You didn't feel proud that, you, that we have a black president? Uh, I could give a fuck less about his skin color. I mean, I guess it's really sick that, um, just based off where America was at one point, that that dude worked his way up there, but, like... I don't care, man. I'm fucking making stuff. Did you see, ever see any any um, racism toward you? 
Um, I mean, when I was younger, like, I was, I was, my, my friend Earl said this in a song, but I was too white for the black kids and I was too black for the white kids. So I kind of didn't really fit much into a, um, into a, you know, a, a certain spot yeah, like, I know. and things yeah. like that. So yeah, no I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call it racism, but you know, or, uh, yeah, like sometimes like in Beverly Hills or so, like, you know, they, just cause I'm like a young black dude and I'm dressed like this and I'll probably skate to Chanel on my skateboard or whatever. They're just like, oh, this dude's window shopping. But then I go cop my mom a really expensive purse and then they want to treat you different. Like, oh crap, he actually bought, like, they just think either, I don't know if it's just based off how I look or whatever, but you know, things like that. It's just he's perception. here to rob something, but wait a minute, he's got a credit card. Oh shit, card. he actually bought this and he's buying more and oh crap. Then they look out the window and see like, oh, that's a nice vehicle. Oh crap, like. Drive a motorcycle? Not at all. I'm <laughs> not touching motorcycles. Do you have a girlfriend? Not at all. Are you interested in girls? Of course. I love Freckles. I love Jennifer Lawrence. If you're watching this, leave the nigga you with. Next, Tyler the Creator's adult swim comedy Loiter Squad is back for a third season. I hope she's more on that in a game of if you only knew after this. God. Jennifer, if you're watching, call her. Food. Back with our remaining moments with Tyler the Creator, your show Loiter Squad, its third season on Adult Swim. What is the premise of Loiter Squad? A uh, couple friends who have stupid ideas and Adult Swim decided to let us put those onto their network. Like what? What kind um, of? Um, I don't know. We, you just have to watch it. I can't even. Do you consider it. yourself an actor? I am not an actor. I just. Give it. Go. What should I take away from lawyers? How should, how should I approach it? Should my 15 year old watch it? Probably, I guess. Yeah, sure. It doesn't have an age requirement. If you think it's funny, you're going to think it's funny. What's going to happen in season three? Um, I'm a rapper. I'm a real rapper in season three. Oh, you are? Like, so the chains and the sweat. I'm, I'm killing it, nigga. I'm killing it, nigga. Do you make up rhymes in your head? Oh, like, All yeah. the oh, time? Yeah. yeah. I think 24. I'm thinking of other shit as I'm speaking to you right now. You're thinking of something else while you're talking to me. Like, what are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? Right now, I'm, I don't know what color my sheets are going to be for this new bed that I'm creating. At the same time you're talking As to me. I'm talking Should to I be offended by no, that? Not no, not at all. That's okay. just how my brain works, and I'm very sorry. I, I'll, I'm, I'll, I actually, I'm not sorry. I can't help that. No, that's I you. Why are you sorry? Size. We have some um, social media questions for you. Oh shit. <laughs> N Lou via Instagram. Have you third? Have you thought about turning Loiter Squad into a movie like Jackass? Fuck no. Why not? Fifteen minutes is already annoying enough. Why the fuck would you want to watch us for an hour and 20 minutes? That's Brad so stu I'm concerned for that nigga. Ugh. Bradley Saul on Facebook. What's the best piece of advice you ever received? I think it was, I think Pharrell, Pharrell just, I think it was him. He was just like, dude, just fucking go. Just, just be. Good go. advice. Just be. Melamy8 on Instagram. Any new developments on Wolf the movie? <laughs> I can't answer that. Why? It's a secret. You'll see when you see it. Okay. At Weasel Tuss on Twitter, what is your spirit animal? I'll, I have a bunch of spirit animals. I'm a squirrel, I'm a whale, I'm a goat, and I'm a dragon. Well, what does that mean? I don't know, but I know in my fucking soul I'm a dragon, a goat, a whale, and a squirrel. Fatty three on nine via Twitter. Who exactly is Felicia the goat? Um, I did this commercial. I did some commercials with Mountain Dew, and that was the main character. And I just ran with it. A, a, a commercial product hired you to represent that. Yeah, and they were sick. And then uh, someone that named Boyce Watkins uh, decided to see that and saw some negative stuff in it. Decided to write an article. And then simple-minded people who can't think for themselves decided to all agree with it. And then Mountain Dew didn't want any bad light on them. So instead of backing me up or, you know, standing up for me, knowing that it was no type of negative light, they decided to back out and just let me be and be there alone, which it worked out for the best. I'm so grateful that that happened. Stephen Boroff on Facebook. Who would you like to collaborate with musically in other ventures? Um, 
Roy Ayers. I want to meet Martin Scorsese. And well, think about it. It's not. It's not a courtroom. You don't have to answer. Eric Carvalhal and on. Fuji. Fuji film. I got some sick ideas. Them niggas in the suits is probably scared, but I got Eric, some sick stuff. We play a little game. If you only knew, I throw out the questions you just answered. That's a sick Aaliyah song. Missy, First girl Missy. you ever kissed. This girl named Lauren. Uh, kindergarten. Gar. I'll never forget. What school? Gar. Gar. Yep. First car. Um. I think it's this E92. My mom, no, my mom bought me this little Honda I had for a month when I was 19, and I fucked it up. M biggest misconception about you? Um, I'm evil. I am probably the most annoying and brightest person ever. Stranded on a desert island, what three things you want with you? I need my inhaler, syrup, and legit uh, iPod. I need music. Favorite city to perform in outside of this country? Outside of the country? London is sick and Norway is sick. But motherfucking Australia. Love Melbourne, love Sydney. Nigga, that's it. That's the one. Most embarrassing moment. You ever have an embarrassing um, moment? I don't know. I don't have any embarrassing moments. But my friend Lionel does have this one photo of me that I do not want out. It's nothing sus, but it's just a fucked up photo. And that's probably the only thing that. Favorite curse word? Fuck. Proudest accomplishment? Uh, I bought a house at 22 years old. What, what city? Uh, far. Let's just say that. Far from here? Uh, yeah, the drive here was not tight. Favorite movie? Napoleon Dynamite. Least favorite thing about LA? Um, the smog. I have fucking horrible asthma. And oh, that's what the inhaler, you need shit, that. Shit, yeah. I got it tattooed on my leg, dude. It's fucking sick, right? Wow. I got nice thighs, huh? Favorite food? Uh, I love syrup, so I guess like waffles and shit, bacon is cool. Favorite cartoon character growing up? Um, I love Finn from Adventure Time. Family Guy is sick, that's a fucked question. Family Guy is great. Amazing. Seth, if you're watching this, I love you. I want to meet you so bad. Uh, he's a good friend of mine, great wow, guy. Wow, we should hang out. Space travel or time travel? Time travel. And I would time travel to a specific Where time. Where would you go? A fucking Michael Jackson hair getting burned during that fucking Pepsi commercial. I want to see that firsthand. Yes. Tyler, you're a... Love you, man. A big thanks to my guest, Tyler, the creator. Be sure to watch and tune in to Lloyd the Squad Thursdays at midnight on the Adult Swim Network. Yes. As always, you can find me on Twitter at yes. Things. We'll see you next time. <laughs>